Thai folks. So I hope that you guys are doing pretty well. Uh, so today is Thursday, the 23rd of March, uh, 2023. And as you can see here, uh, the ovation of the seas uh, cruise liner or cruise ship, if you like, in Omar's Chaganot. Uh, my brother is boarding, so um, he's going out with his wife and two kids. And so I'm going to be saying goodbye to them and catching up just before they board this cruise ship. So, um, yeah, it's pretty good. Huge ship. And uh, not that it's got all the facilities in there. Apparently, this, this is actually a third class of the Royal Caribbean uh, ships or cruise ships, if you like, in terms of sizes. There are actually bigger ships than this one. And this one is the size of four uh, soccer fields or four football fields, if you like. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And uh, it's a nice backdrop when you got Sydney Opera House, you got the uh, ferry terminal, and so on. So let's go for a bit of a walk, folks. See if I can catch up with my brother, his wife and kids. And um, I do apologize for the noisy background. As you can see, there's, there's a lot of people here heading towards the ship, if you like, uh, to board. So enjoy the scenery. This is one of my ferries that I normally get when I go home. And just have a look at the ovation of the seas. Enormous juggernaut. I just can't get over the size of this ship. It's just huge. Here we got the Museum of Contemporary Art. Very handy coffee shop here at the front. Let's get a close up, if you like, of the ovation of the seas. I know, man, it is huge. So, my brother is heading to the island of Tasmania, which is south of the continent of Australia, if you like. I think it's going to take them two days to get there. So. He's actually going to be right on the top, but he's going to be on the left hand side. Just behind the bridge, he told me he's got a cabin with a balcony. So. So just up ahead here is where people uh, line up to board the cruise liner. As you can see, there's a lot of action and activity here. And I'm not sure if they're gonna allow me to go further too much from around here. As you can see, it says up there, obviously it's passenger terminal. Uh, so my brother is probably due to board in about half an hour. So I guess if I don't find him here, I'll um, give him a phone call on his cell phone so let's just have a look at this enormous cruise liner like this video probably doesn't do it justice when you're here right in front of it and you are looking at it and you're just seeing an enormous ship um you know it is just huge so a lot of engineers are working on the ship if you like so people getting off bands and uh, things like that. So I'm gonna hang around here. I don't know that I'm gonna be allowed to go any further because this is like a checkpoint. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna be allowed any further than this. So I'm just gonna be uh, Getting more towards the side here and see if I can ring my brother on the cell phone, see if he answer it. There's a lot of security here as you can imagine and uh, also, um, you know, border force personnel. So. 
let's just cross the street here and uh, give you another bit of a view uh, of the cruise ship, what it looks like from here, I guess. So, yeah, my brother should be boarding over there when I'm pointing the finger, but I'm sure that I'm not allowed to go through there. So, but have a look at the cruise liner. The city skyline, downtown Sydney, if you like. And have a look at the uh, window washers up there. They are cleaning the uh, bridge windows, if you like. So I'm gonna end this video here. <laughs> and uh, I'm just gonna go a little bit further. I'm pretty sure that I'm allowed to walk through here to this corridor, if you like. As long as I'm not in that area there, I should be fine, so. Dala Wolata, Lost Point. These are Aboriginal names, if you like. So. Hey, no man, where is my brother? He should be here. Uh, he's got to be boarding at 12 noon. It's already 11:25, and being excited and knowing him, I'm pretty sure that he should have been here by now. <laughs> if you know what I mean. There is the uh, Sydney Harbour Bridge. It's actually a copy of Hell's, Hell's Guide Bridge uh, from New York City, if you like. So you guys are probably wondering, hey, that Sydney Harbour Bridge looks familiar in New York. <laughs> well, it's a, kind of like a replica, if you like. I think it's a little bit longer, but unlike the one from New York, this one, um, you know, you can ride through it on your vehicle, um, try and go through there. Uh, there's a bicycle track, a walking track. So it's not only just for trains, uh, like the one in America, like the one in New York, if you like. So, all right. So let me get to this corner here, which is a little bit quieter, I guess, from <clears throat> all the noise. And um, yeah, there's a lot of security personnel and attendants. I can walk through here. I mean, I have um, ridden my electric scooter here many times, uh, whilst I have seen many people boarding the ship. So this, this passage here, it's okay to go through, but not around there, obviously. So that's why you got customs and things like that. So this ship has kind of like, um, this Royal Caribbean ship has like a, a big arm up there where if you pay a fee, uh, you get to go up on that thing that kind of like goes up. It looks kind of like a crane, but it does have some kind of gondola, if you like, that goes up and you can get um, much better views from up there. So, all right, folks, it's time to ring my brother on the cell phone, see where he is, see what's happening. <laughs> he should have been here by now. And um, yeah, I'm just recording this for him as well, I guess, because he'll uh, look at my YouTube channel <laughs> and uh, he'll remember this day. So, um, yeah. Alright folks, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch up with you guys soon on another video, hopefully.